What do you get if you cross an IPA with a lager? from Brewdog we have got a bottle of their Hop Rocker India Pale Lager coming in at 5.2% ABV now I don't know what to make of this India Pale Lager it's like having a Labrador or a Cockapoo or <laughs> they mix these dogs up and it you know <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I obviously, I don't know, mixed an IPA with a lager. Okay, that's fair enough, they've mixed an IPA with a lager. But what glass do you drink it out of? So I go for a lager glass, an IPA glass, um, put half in each. What do you do with, with a beer that's a, which is a cross? I think I'll stick to this, eh? Go in the middle, eh? Because it's going to be a bit of both, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, tell me. It's it's apparently they've re-released it. This was the fourth ever beer that Brewdog produced. So they've re-released it. I think it's come out um, towards the end of January. It's in Asda's. Um, this is where I picked this bottle up. This great big bottle, two pound, two pound fifty for this. Um, what size is that one? That's six hundred. That's a pint. That's a pint there. Two pound fifty. And I noticed they did have um, four cans in a pack for six quid. I think it was. Yeah. So you could either go for the big bottle or you can go for your little cans. But it's in Astra at the moment. So it's the India Pale Lager. I don't know what to expect. We'll crack it open. And the trouble is with Brewdog, I'm finding at the moment, is they produce, like I say, they produce a lot of good beer. A lot of people, they, they like the brand Brewdog, and they know they're going to get, you know, something reasonably good. You know, it's not a, there's not really a lot of crap I've had out from I haven't had any crap off of Brewdog yet. I know some of other reviewers have had some crap beers I don't like, but um, I must admit, I've, I've stayed clear of them. <laughs> so, but... Yeah, a lot of it, as you know, you're going to get something that's solid off the of brew dogs. Whoa. Cool, did that well, didn't I? Starting to get, li started to get lively towards the end of that pour. Anyway, we've got a lovely sort of Lucasade in colour, this beer. And it's got a lovely four finger head on it. A lot of carbonation. Can you see that really well? There's a lot, a lot of carbonation in there. Shall we get the, uh, the aroma? Sort of toast. Spices. I'm getting sort of spices like cinnamon, believe it or not, on the nose. A little bit of citrus there, so sort of toast, um, citrus, cinnamon, peppery. It's sort of like the, what I'm getting on the nose. Before. So uh, what we'll do, we'll dive in and give it a try, shall we? Cheers. Oh, interesting. This is really, really bitter. 
Um, <sighs> India Pile Lager. I would go as far to say I should have called it India Pale Pilsner. And I'm going to tell you why. This is bitter from start to finish. It's not too bitter, it's a pleasant bitterness all the way through. But there's an awful lot of dryness there. The what I call refreshing dryness, which you always get with a pilsner. A pilsner will be that, that dryness. You, you don't get that dryness with a lager. You always get that dryness with a pilsner. And this is what I'm getting here. I'm getting the bitterness of an IPA, the dryness of a pilsner. Now if it was sweeter, and a bit of a sweetness there, I'll say, yeah, fair, fair enough, Brutal. Indian Pale Lager, you've done a good job of amalgamating two styles together. I think you've done yourself a little bit of injustice, actually, Brewdog. I've not seen, and you feel free to correct me if I'm wrong out there, but leave a comment and let me know the beer. I haven't seen anyone produce or lay claim to an Indian pale pilsner. And in my opinion, this is what this is. You've labelled it up wrong. Now, I have heard that in the US of A, they call this by a different name. They call it a stateside lager. And even if you call it that, I think you're doing yourself an injustice by using the term lager in this beer, brew dog. And I know you've spent millions on your marketing and um, experts and stuff like that, but a little beer reviewer like me, I think if you'd have called it a, the, the, the India Pale Pilsner, you might, I don't, I don't know, I'm not, you know, I don't own a brewery and I'm not a marketing expert, but the beer itself lends to me, it's a very, very good, I'm not slating the beer, this is a really, really good beer and, you know, I'm going to say to you, well, go out to Asda and get a, get a bottle of this or a can. But it's got that dryness all the way through, which really, really lends itself to um, a pilsner. And in a matter of fact, when you look, you've got you've got the Cascade, the Saz, the Tories, and the Hellertau hops in here. So you've got you know your Hellertau hops, your classic Munich hops are in this. You then got your malts. So you've got your Cara Red, your Munich malt, and this is where they let themselves down on the name. It's got your Pilsner malts in here, and that's why you're getting this dryness all the way through this beer. That lovely Pilsner dryness, dryness that refreshing dryness that you get on like when you're on a hot day, a nice Pilsner, and it's dry, refreshing. Exactly what you get in here. Um, and that's why I'm going to stick by my guns. This should be an India Pale Pilsner. It's a fantastic beer, though. 5.2. This is really, really nice. Um, I was not expecting it to be as nice as it was. This is actually really, really drinkable. It's because it's, it's got that bit of dryness. This is going to go fantastic with um, sort of seafood, seafood pastas, um, Thai food, Thai, um, Vietnamese, Malaysian, 
sort of, you know, foods that has a little bit of Indian even, you know, a little bit of punchiness. Um, even though there's a lot of carbonation in there, as you can see, believe it or not, when it gets on your tongue, it's not that carbonated. Um, it reminds me a bit of the carbonation levels of the original Cobra. Remember when Cobra first came out on the market and that was that Indian fella selling it by the crate out of the back of a little Suzuki van when he's driving miles all over the country, weren't he? Um, brewing this beer and selling it out of the back of a van. Um, and then, you know, it was good. You go to the Indian and before that you only had your Kingfisher and your Carlsberg and that. And he hit the nail on the Ebra market, a, a, a non-gassy lager. It was a high strength to have with have with your um your, your Indian food, and then Molson Coors come along and bought him out, and I remember being in an Indian and enjoying my Cobra, and like a month later, being in the same Indian, and the. Cobra was gassy, it was, well, it was like, what the hell have they done to this? And I got told, obviously, we've been bought out by Molson Coors, and they literally, it's never been the same again, Cobra beer, has it, you know? Um, this replicates, to me, the original Cobra. Slightly more bitter, because obviously it's, it's, it's got the IPA aspect to it, but for the, for the sort of, the, the carbonation and the gas, you know, it's... It's pretty bang on. It's a good beer by Brewdog, but my worst fears are how long is it going to be on the shelves for? Um, you know, so I've noticed, I don't know anyone else, I'm noticing that Lost Lager is getting harder to get hold of now, and that was a cracking, a cracking beer, Lost Lager, wasn't it? Ah. This is really, really good. But, like I say, how long is it going to be about? So, if I was you, get down Asda's, get a can, get a bottle of this, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment in the box. Um, give us a thumbs up. Hit that little bell. I'm going to get notified every time I bring out a new beer, a uh, new review. And, uh, subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers, we're nothing. And, as I always say, Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.